Not work out what's going on, can you, Pat? <laughs> what? Now, I know a lot of people think that this is a real extravagance going to have a hand car wash, but it's only a fiver. And um, the thing was, I got stuck in the mud earlier, <laughs> so the whole van is covered in. Oh God, you don't want to know where they're doing the uh, <laughs> where they're doing the the meadow where we walk. It's just so muddy. I thought I'd park on the other side, and I got stuck in the mud. I'm used to driving a Land Rover. That's the trouble. That's, uh, so I thought it's worth a fiver with their jet washes and they can stand out in the cold and do it. They're nice lads this lot. Can't believe it. Clean van. I think that fiver for the hand car wash has just doubled the van's value. <laughs> ah, Friday. Welcome to the vlog. It's that time, this is, this is now become my uh, daily treat. <laughs> that's, that's what my life has come to. <laughs> it is good fun though, even though wreaking destruction on Chris's box. Could have been worse, it could have been Gemma who packed it. Uh, right, so, day 18. Can't remember, so this is six, seven, 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 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. It's day six. Stout or proof of concept? God, I can't remember. Let's find out, guys. Right, it's either stout or proof of concept. I think it might be, it might be proof of concept today is stout tomorrow. But my unforgettery is such that I don't know. So let's see if I can do this without causing, oh, do you know, you're not going to be able to, are you? Let's just do it. What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? <sighs> Proof of concept. Good. It's still, that's my favorite, I think at the moment, apart from the specialities that Chris has done from his core range. That is definitely my favourite. Vacant is a close second, but for me, I don't know. don't know why. So that's for tonight. Now, fix the box. Ticking off some of those tiny little jobs. The main one today, I wanted to take the relay out, which controls the, um, the uh, lights. And the reason for that is um, it was a mechanical relay now it's taking its power from the output of the solid state relay reason for that manual relays burn out really quickly solid state relays don't and the clicking was driving me mad fine tuning this on the pid means lots and lots of very very interval quick interval um, bursts and as you'll see it's on and off up and down like a fiddler's elbow uh, and that normally would have caused a click every time the light comes on. Click, 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 boom. Now it doesn't. But it does mean when there's power to this unit but no elements plugged in, these and this will glow. And that's because there's enough residual power just going to the output of the solid state relay. But it doesn't matter. In fact, it's probably a good thing that they glow 
even when it's kind of like turn off as it were because it will remind me that there's power going to here and unless I've hit the RCD there's power going to the solid state relays they're just not kicked in they're just not turned on so that's one job ticked off today a few others which is making some room um, and polishing probably the small uh, core ship something a little bit unusual this is a bag of pennies from 1966 and I can't cut the can't cut, ah, cut the string I've cut the string now this was sealed filled and sealed by machine in oh for god's sake hang on of course it's all threaded through and stuff filled and sealed by machine back in 1966 it's never been opened this is part of the stuff that i sell on ebay but i just think it's interesting if you like all that sort of histrionics you see how it was you see how it's sealed it's there you go <gasps> look at this and this is the first time anyone will ever have seen Hang on, if I, just like a muppet because i've only got one hand in it <laughs> oh Now, I've cut the tag off, so this should now, yes. <sighs> the first time in 54 years. Look at that. Wow. And this is a part of an eBay listing for a pound. In other words, 240 of those, which is 20 shillings. That is a pound, <laughs> straight from the bag. And okay, they're 50 years old, 54 years old. There are odd little bits of tarnish here and there, but you know what? These are brand spanking new. Wow. I always love doing that, counting them out. Next, I'm going to seal them uh, in shrink wrap that just kind of like protects them a little bit more Ooh, 20 shillings right this is the this is the fun bit warm air blower give it a second to warm up and the reason I do this is it just it keeps them nice and together and it also stops oxygen, oxygenation, which causes um, tarnishing. Okay, and then I'm just going to let that torten up for a moment. Do it again, and then pop it in another bag and do it again. There's something almost kind of ASMR about that. Let's uh, turn them over. Perfect. I'm never too sure how these sort of things should be packaged. So I found a really strong corrugated cardboard box, which I think will be ideal. And I shall then plaster it <laughs> in packing tape. Well, there we have about half a roll of packing tape on here that 
is about as well packed as I think I've ever packed anything. Or well wrapped anyway. Ready to go offed. Super. So, um, obviously can't mention the customer's name for this, who bought it on eBay. But uh, they will know who they are because I will send them a link to this little video of today's uh, today's vlog. And this, um, after sending it off on eBay fees and everything else, there will be enough left to do a goodie bag for some of the nurses I know who are working over Christmas. Cheers! We had two deliveries today look at this yes he was right it was next day now can anyone spot a problem that's right only two of the three boxes have turned up so far We'll see if the other one turns up tomorrow, maybe Monday. Um, it's the one with a Bohemian Pilsner, a couple of kilos of hops. And probably, well, if they remembered, as the goodwill gesture, the, um, the star sand. I mean, I'm not overly bothered about that. I've got plenty of star sand. But... So it's not, it's not their fault. That's not get her brood's their fault at all. It's uh, DPD. I've just sent um, just sent a package out with DPD as well. Oh well, not to worry. You know what time it is now, don't you, boys and girls? Oh, I actually feel guilty about this hat. <laughs> um, when when we was over. Um, I'm not going to do any of that fancy animated stuff. When we was over at, um, at Chris's place, we um, picked up some, well, quite a lot of beer actually, uh, and um, did a little bit of filming, which you might have seen. And at the end, we started talking about merch. And I'm, I don't know, I think I might have mentioned the hats. He said, oh, I've still got some. And I don't know whether he said, do you want one? Or whether I said, can I have one? <laughs> um, but I have one. And, you know, I feel ever so slightly guilty because I didn't offer to give him anything for it. What a fucking tight ass, aren't I? Tight ass, by the way, is um, the discount code if you want to download the um, underback grant wiring diagram from harrisonsbrewery.com I to put a link to it in a previous video and then you get it for free but you've got to suffer the indignity of typing in tight ass as your code have you noticed something? I've got two hands here this is because we've got tripod. I've put a tripod down here. Um, just because I could. It's only a little one. Um, right, so, proof of concept. This is a blinding brew. Um, for anybody who likes um, full flavour but sessionable. I'm not going to be very long. There's a couple of things that I did want to say. Oh, I'm advertising CBC. Look at that. Turn it round. They'd never advertise me. It's a good channel, though. I'll put it back. You can subscribe to their channel. It's good. As is Harry Brew 69 And new to homebrew Tom, who um, is building a new brewery in his garage. What was I going to say? Really strange getting the order um via ebay earlier for those pennies because one of the things that i was going to say today was do you remember hang on look i'm sorry i just need this punchy glass isn't it i do like these glasses now 
one of the things I was going to say is, do you remember that old saying, penny for your thoughts? And, um, uh, fuck. And I always used to say, mine aren't worth a penny. But at the moment, um, I think there's lots of thoughts floating around everybody's head. Because it's been a real head fuck of a year. Not only heading towards a no deal Brexit, but also heading towards another lockdown a week before Christmas. Christmas is always a stressful time. Add all those other factors, like a whole year of being kind of like socially screwed over and just not being able to live our lives as we would normally because of this terrible virus. A lot of people are going to be suffering even more this Christmas. And Christmas is a time when the mind really does tend to focus sometimes on the negative stuff. And I think this year especially, it's okay to admit when we get a little bit snowed under. I don't know I have. Fucking hell. This, you know, this year is nearly, nearly done for me. And I'm sure for many other people as well. I've, I've worried about family and friends. I've got a 93 year old mum. I've got several friends who are teachers who are on the front line. And I know pe people who've, who've had really terrible years business wise, almost losing their business. The thing is, it's all right to admit this is shit. And it's all right to say it's not fair. And I always say it's all right to say it's not fair because it's not fucking fair. But the thing that I really want everybody to think about is that saying that I used to bandy around all the time before it became really popular. It's okay to not be okay. It's okay to feel really shit. Don't beat yourself up. It's not within your control. And on the continuum from feeling a bit crap to having a full-blown clinical depressive episode all of that is valid I mentioned the other day about someone saying and and they said it literally a few hours before they died i shouldn't really complain there are people worse off than me and i said at the time fucking no way mate there's not and um it's something that we always think we should do is put other people first. And no, I'm telling you now, you should put yourself first. And if you are feeling stressed out, if you are feeling on the verge of cracking up, if you are feeling lonely, if you are feeling depressed, if you are feeling like you just want the world to open up and fucking swallow you, it's okay to feel that way. But talk about it. Tell somebody. Talk to somebody about it. It's something we don't do, especially guys. We don't do it. We don't talk to other people about how we feel. But, you know, talking therapy is one of the most effective therapies beyond all drugs. Certainly beyond alcohol, certainly beyond antidepressants. Talk about it. It's okay to not be okay. And as we're heading up to Christmas, it might not be you, but you might know somebody who isn't okay and that's one of those rare occasions when I will use a term that I really hate reach out to them you won't very often hear me say that but this is one of the times when I actually think that using that term is relevant reach out let them know that you're there you don't need to say anything just being there sometimes is enough and there's an importance to listening over speaking. So as we head towards that strangest of Christmases that we're about to have this year, just remember you're not alone and there's always somebody else there willing to take the piss. No, you know what I mean. It's okay not to be okay, folks. Tomorrow... I'm going to sort of try and do something a little bit more upbeat. <laughs> and I was going to be doing a brew. Um, I'm not. That's going to be probably Sunday. I might still have a go at this Lambic. I don't know yet. It depends, actually, on whether my other DPD parcel arrives from Getter Brewed. Because that's kind of like one of the central ones to, uh, to get in that uh, particular 
brew out of the way. Until then, cheers guys, stay safe.